the ethers, okay? Because the spirit is like whispering messages. Now that could also be gossip too. Like don't give that any food and you'll rise. Okay, so do what feels, um, as long as you're not hurting people, right? Do what feels comfortable to you. And then here is the two of wands. Taking the first steps towards initiating uh, something, a deeper connection and intimacy. Opening up. All right, now for you, this is showing me you may be craving an earth sign here. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Craving an earth sign, okay? <laughs> Okay, so um, Almond Joy's got nuts. <laughs> okay, all right, so I feel like that's a message of joy here. And here's the Three of Cups with celebrations and an Easter egg. Is, it, this balloon's looking like an Easter egg. <laughs> okay, so in New Orleans, they do like um, this whole thing around Easter, right? And they wear hats and do all this stuff. Oh, fun times. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. Thank you. All right, so now we are on. Leo. Who, what bunny wants to be in your spring basket? Okay, earth sign. Someone you have soul memory with in the past. Okay. And it's like you feel like if you get with them, the, some mystery will be unlocked. That's what I'm getting. This ribbon is looking like uh, luck. You feel like they're your lucky person and... And... Um, they might be in finance or good with money. And what is this? It's looking like a sacred flower. Now that came up in an Aquarius. Uh, so they may have Aquarius in their charts. Okay. Now, if you've had some stinking experiences, right? I feel like... Um, Something beautiful will be revealed, like in a present. Okay. Woo! Okay, so there is marriage potential here. Oh, my gosh. What? Okay, so for some of you, it might be a Pisces or a Virgo. Gemini. Sagittarius. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Okay. So it doesn't really, I mean, oh my gosh, I was like, is it going to get better? And it's like, bam, Ten of Cups. Okay, now what it will take is courage, is what I'm getting. <laughs> okay, now I feel like this one is going to be like, here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> and it's like, uh, if you want me, you got to come to me kind of energy. Okay, so. <laughs> and, and you want to see. Okay, so I don't feel like people should test each other in relationships. I feel like that kind of takes away from the pure essence or the pure love that is there in calling. So. Um, like you want to see if they pass all the tests of Olympian nature. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> okay, let me get one more on that one. Okay, so 
it's like when you get together with this one, it's going to feel like a whole new reality. But you have to get rid of some of that density. Uh, so what is that? Okay, so your responsibilities and things like that, you have to do better time management. And a lot of times people waste away time on the internet. Okay, so uh, take a look into that. And I feel like you see this person as a Greek god. That's how you would recognize it if it was your person. <laughs> yeah, and it is possible because here's spirit. Okay, go on. Yep. Okay, now be playful and pick up that phone, right? Okay, maybe even um, going to the beach or uh, together or something like that. And it doesn't have to be the beach. It could be like something you enjoy doing and letting them in on it. And I feel like that could open doors. Woo! Okay, but the key is movement. Okay, it's like you've already done all the dreaming, so let's move on it. Okay. I'm getting like the Bermuda Triangle. What's that? Okay, so that's the thing. It's like three segments, three points in time. And uh, you want to keep moving. And create space for love. It could be a Pisces or a Virgo. Now, they could be working on something in the tech field. Or they could be like this kind of forward-moving energy. But that could be you. That could be you. Okay. You could be uh, working on your initiatives and what you want to bring in. Let's say a whole colony, right? And... Uh, And it's like you're so fo focused here, right? One pointed focus. It could be like um, going into the uh, Bermuda hole, something like that, right? A portal, that portal, and then not creating space for love when it's all around you. All around you. These All these stars are lovers that want to be with you. Okay. All right. And you got to give the green light. Okay. So internally... Do what you need to do to feel comfortable about giving the green light and communicate. i leave you with that. Oh, there may be something with ancestors, right? Maybe you don't want to... It depends on what culture you're coming from. Okay, so what I would do is keep focusing on your dreams and not what can't happen, but spend more time in what can happen. I'll leave you with that. Okay, Virgo. What bunny wants to be in your basket? Air sign. They want success with you. It's like the yin to your yang here, the chariot. There's an age dynamic here. Someone's older. And maybe even from different cultures I'm getting. Could be someone from India I'm getting. Could be also American Indian mix. I'm also getting uh, someone from the fifth dimension. 
moving into the six. Woo! Okay, and that's where the wisdom's coming in. So they'll like, uh, they're aware of you. It's interesting. They're aware of you, and you're focused on learning something else. <laughs> okay. Now, what is this? Okay. And I feel like that is how to help other people. You may be in a profession where you're trying to help other people. Okay. But that focus somewhere else is causing them to... Oh, this is kind of feeling like the Leo reading. Okay. It's like there's a connecting link to all the reads so far. Okay, so then here is the... Um, Here is you help trying to learn how to help other people or helping other people. Okay. Learning. It's like trying to gain some past knowledge so that you can learn how to change it up and bring something new, birth something new from it. Could be a Libra. There could be a sense of unfairness here. Needing balance. Okay, let's see that. Let's get, let's get the uh, spark of balance. Now, yesterday, I was like, I had the spark of balance in my hand, and I said spark of grace. So maybe it's the journey of gaining balance first that moves us into the grace, something like that. Okay, so let's see. What daily tasks bring you down? How could you improve or stop them? Gain some perspective by scheduling time to contemplate the big picture goals. And that was coming up in the, uh, I wanna say it was the um, Leo reading. Like family member not seeing the big picture or something like that, okay. And just the suggestion was to keep on doing what you're doing. All right. And take one tiny step towards a scary yet exciting goal. And I feel like that's what this is. And then make something creative that uplifts others. I feel like that's what you're trying to do is move some dense energy here. Okay. And try a new type of meditation. Ooh, I like that one. Plan a day of activities for your inner child. Yes, it's never too late to have a childhood. Okay, align yourself with more of what energizes you. Okay, but don't neglect your taxes. <laughs> don't get, neglect your tax, taxes trying to feed that inner child. Okay, all right, so that's coming up. So get that those ducks in a row. Okay, what's next? Woo! Okay, so that heavy energy is lifted. Okay. The new potential here, yeah, it was like you're able to trump that energy, whatever that was. Okay, I like that. Okay. Ooh, okay, so it's like people see you as the uh, moving with the magic. All right, now here it's like... Your rabbit in the hat might be a fire sign, too. Okay, so we've got fire and we got, oh, what is a fire? Air and fire is what I'm picking up for you. Okay. But I feel like you want water because water is here. All right, so now let's see. Hmm. Now, there could have been someone that you felt like wasn't a good influence, and you wanted to break free from that. Okay. All right.
right, and then here is you continuing to bring in the, st <clears throat> the stability for yourself. All right, this is coming up in another reading. Avoiding uh, bars and doing fun activities that you're interested in, creative interests, whether it's like sewing or whatever it is. Car groups were coming up in an earlier reading and other things, other gatherings that are interesting to you and do that instead of the bar thing all the time. It's not saying don't do that, just... Um, try other things and that can even help you feel better um, towards moving together with somebody because you won't have all that hangover business okay and I feel like you're gonna meet someone just like you that's what I'm getting with this someone just like you who has common interests You did get the chariot, though, so there. I feel like there's two people. Someone just like you, and then there's someone else that's the opposite energy. So if it's opposite energy, it could be a Pisces. All right. And it could be through meeting through Internet. Time management was coming up in another reading, and here it is. Creating the space so that you can connect. Organizing, Virgo, your life, all the things that you have to do so that you can create time for connection. Now, if you've been shortchanging yourself here um, and just... Um, doing these uh, light connections on the internet I don't feel like that's satisfying to you so I feel like um, go deeper actually get out there right spread your wings and fly to other places and then the couple love will uh, be um, you'll wake up to it You're still holding on to the idea of love and you want to work on it. But maybe your work and community stuff is, is, um, has, is in your top priority here. Now here's the wheel turning. Who else got the wheel? I think Cancer got the wheel. Okay, so it could be water sign. That's what I was saying. I, was, I feel like there's like wanting water. It's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, like we said just a minute ago. Okay, so I feel like that's what it's calling for somewhere deep down. And yeah, it's like there's one cycle that ended. And there's a new potential here. There's, that's the Cancer Scorpio Pisces. That's what I'm getting. Crystallized water. Okay, so I feel like that's what you want to go towards. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And that's what may be coming in. Now, this is my resistance card. Don't fight it. Get comfortable and take baby steps if you have to, but still move, right? Now, what I'm getting with this is there was something, okay, could be fire sign here. What I was getting with this was there was a video out where there was a dog that was like trying to call the human to come over, come this way, come this way. And I feel like that's what spirit's doing, come this way. And you're like, no. And, um, and then there was like a, puppies in here okay and then they opened up and then here is the steps that you could go up to meet your person okay so it's like that but there was something that you were doing here and look at how this um, looks like 
the world, you know, um, nations here. Trying to bring in something here. Okay, so here's the fire sign. Now this could be a, a an air sign that in the past um, wasn't could have been fighting, or you could have been focused on that in, anywhere. Okay, all right. Now let's see. I want to see where that goes. Woo! Balancing the emotions. Now for some of you, that could have been a fire sign that you were trying to change turn the wheel on that okay or a uh, air sign but here's your new directions they're just saying keep focusing on what you're building keep moving in that direction whatever didn't come Take your focus off of that and put on what you're building. And then that can move away and then these can, uh, whatever you're wishing for, can come right in. Yeah, movement is what it's going to take. Now it could be a Pisces or a Virgo. Another Virgo. Movement. You could have uh, went deep diving to look at some stuff. Okay, now here is... Youth of Pentacles. So there is an age difference here for one of the partners. Potential partners. Okay. And I feel like this is you. Kind of that uh, protective energy, but you could have attracted that too. But maybe a, a sh um, another version of that. Okay, so see, water sign keeps coming in. It could be a fire air that's in their emotions about you. Too much competition. They gave up. They, what about that? Okay, so maybe they're focused on family. They could have had some. How you recognize one of them is they've been through some sort of heartache. Okay. And they're solo. They don't have any attachments. And they would be willing to come together with you. And for someone, it's a Leo. Okay, now the Leo, they... They might seem like they fool around, but what they really want is commitment. <laughs> okay, Virgo, I leave you with that. <laughs> All right, how are we doing on the time? Ooh, I don't know. Are we in the third video? Okay. All right. Anyway, we're going to keep going. Libra, what bunny wants to be in your basket? Spring basket. All sign singles, uh, gay tarot reading. Okay. All right, now what am I getting with that? Now, for someone, this is family stuff that was bringing you down. Just remember you're a unique creature, right? And you don't have to be like everybody else. Okay, so you could have been taking a break from family or your tribe. Now, that came up in another reading. Okay, taking a pause. Okay. To make improvements on your assessment of it all. Okay. Okay. 
it's like you have all these opportunities to fly high, but whatever this um, family stuff is, has been bringing you down, whoever this reading is for. Now, it could be work. It could be uh, people you hang out with. This could feel like not being accepted by people of the past. All right. Who is that? Okay, so <clears throat> there's an earth sign that wants to work on it with you, but I don't know if you're giving it the time of day. <clears throat> All right, now, part of the problem is this overprotective energy. Um, when I say overprotective, it's like, let's say if you're raising a child, um, not letting them shine and be in their light the way they need to be because you're afraid that they will get hurt. Now that can get extended from how you were brought up. Okay. And then you pass that on to the next generation or even the people you come in contact with. It's like an unhealthy, protective nature. It's not about stability. It's not about, it's kind of feeling more like control issues. Okay, so you want to get comfortable with that. Okay, do I feel like I have to micromanage everything, right? That's where the question comes in about control. But there's an earth sign that wants to work on it with you. Okay, now you might have even had, uh, might have once lived with them and had a dog together or a child together or they might have some sort of family dynamic thing where they have fur babies or something like that. Okay, all right, <clears throat> now what is this? Two of Cups. They want to be with you. They want to work on it with you. But I feel like on some level you might be self-absorbed. Okay. Now, if you're worried about your looks all the time, right? That could, that could take away from your connection or past connections. Look at yourself and say... Was I so absorbed in how I presented myself to others and how I looked on the outside that um, I wasn't giving myself the benefit of connecting on a deeper level? Because I'm picking up these as chess pieces. And you've got a match here. That's what I'm seeing. You've got a match. And when you first met, this one felt magical to you. It's like it sparked up a light bulb in you, like that. Like, wow, what have I been missing, right? And they were doing things that you, you wish you could do even, right? Feel free. All right, 